From one competition to another, soldiers from all over post descended on Paul R. Smith Gymnasium to go hand to hand to see if they have what it takes to represent Fort Benning in the Lone Star State later this summer. Ron Andrews gets down on the mats to bring us all the action. This is still elite level competition where you get the best of the best. 136 soldiers from units all over post came out to compete in the 2011 Maneuver Center of Excellence Modern Army Combatives Championships. It's important to have this competition because we want to instill those warrior ethos into the soldiers. And by validating those techniques that we teach in the Martin Army Combatives program, we get that through competition. These tournaments spread combatives training throughout the Army and present our troops with physical and mental challenges similar to what they'll face downrange. When you're downrange, adrenaline is pumping just the same. Every mission you go on, you don't know what the enemy has out there for you. The same way when the competition, you don't know what your competitor, you don't know what type of training he or she has. So once you get in that ring, you got to be focused on your game plan. And being focused on your game plan is exactly what Captain John John Anderson and the rest of his team brought to this year's competition. The mental skills training under the Army is a comprehensive soldier fitness, performance and resiliency enhancement program. I apply it personally to combatives, to everything I do. Uh, it, what it does, it gives you a structured approach to apply mental skills to any task, before, during and after every task you do. It's paying off in uh, huge dividends for soldiers, athletes, anyone that does it, it gets them to the next level. Columbus State University student Ian McDonald also uses mental skills training and took his game to a whole new level when he became the first ROTC cadet to went out here in any weight class. Went out there and executed, stayed real positive and uh, determined. Determination really pulled me through today. Warrior ethos, just never quit, never accept defeat. I was repeating that, just kept going out there and pushing. Ian is the son of Proud Papa and Fort Benning Garrison Commander Colonel Thomas McDonald, who himself is a former Columbus College ROTC cadet and shares his love of combatives with his son. It was awesome. I like to do combatives too. I, I, uh, he and I got in it together and uh, he's passed me up at this point. And so it was just great to see him out there and excel so well. He wants to be out there, you know. I'm out there representing him too, because he stopped me a lot. and. I wish he could be out there fighting with us. Ian McDonald's is a great example of inspirational leadership, the warrior ethos, and what it means to be Army strong. I hope it encourages us, you know, more cadets to get involved because obviously we can do pretty well if we put the time and the effort in. And it's only going to make you better when you commission. So I just was glad to come out here and represent. Army combatives is very important. It's nice to get him started early. And uh, I think he'll be a, an inspiration to a lot of other folks in ROTC. And he's off to a great start for the Army. Ian and the rest of this year's winners will head down to Fort Hood, Texas later this summer and fight hard to win the team title and bring the All-Army Combatives Championships back home to Fort Benning where it belongs. It feels great to come out here and after training so hard, it's really rewarding to win. I'm very proud of him. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.